Hello, welcome to the DSU Sports Update. My name is Benjamin Bullock, and I'm joined here by head women's soccer coach here at DSU, Kerry Scroop. How are you doing today, coach? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. How has the transition been thus far since this is your first year at the school? Talking about transition from the smallest state to the second smallest state? <laughs> Uh, it's actually been a, a pretty good transition. Um, the people here are friendly and everybody's willing to help out. Um, the coaches have been more than supportive. Uh, Coach Blunt, I mean, we, we, we sit here and laugh a little bit. He said I'm the first woman to chase him off the soccer field. <laughs> I should say football field. But um, it's been great. He's been helping me out, um, leading the way. and. Um, it's the veterans that I'm really looking to at this point, um, Coach Bernard up in basketball, and they've all been giving me advice, helping me, uh, so it's been pretty good so far. That's great. Now, at your previous stop, you held multiple positions. I believe you were an assistant softball coach, I'm sorry, the head, head softball coach, assistant basketball coach, and you're also an administrator, along with being the head women's soccer coach. Talk about all those multiple positions and the challenges that faced you when you were up there. Um, for me, it's always sports have been part of my life, so I'm not really sure how it would be a challenge to me, because it's something I've always done. Um, the recruiting part of it is what got very interesting, uh, trying to recruit for soccer, trying to recruit um, for softball. Uh, the basketball coach was very good to me, and she used me more for my uh, knowledge of coaching the sport. Uh, but I would say one of the biggest challenges was definitely the recruiting and trying to get a balance. Um, but it became, uh, you know, one year you're going to really go after those soccer kids, the next year you're going to go after the softball kids. And if you look at my roster, you can see that's the way it got balanced out. Um, but it was, it's been easy for me because it's something I love to do, and that's who I am. And so the hours, I don't mind it. Um, we laugh a little bit because people are actually a little concerned what I'm going to do this spring. <laughs> right. um, they're, they're, they're not, they said, what are you going to do this spring? And I said, I'm actually quite excited because what I felt that I was missing at Salve was the opportunity to just focus on one sport and be able to recruit and put all my time and energy in that. So I think it's going to be something that's going to be very beneficial to me going forward. So I'm very excited about it. Okay, that's great. Now let's take a trip down memory lane a little bit. Now as a graduate from Stony Brook, you were a two-sport star in basketball and soccer. Like during both of those, how does that, you know, prepare you for your coaching career right now? I think for me, um, being able to play under two different coaches and actually three for basketball has been very helpful. Um, very fortunate to play for Sue Ryan, who's one of the biggest names in women's soccer right now. Um, she is recognized um, in the NSCAA coaching uh, group, and uh, she's one of those people that are still out there coaching all these years. And um, for me, she is somebody I'm trying to um, be like. She took a program and made a transition through Division One, and um, I feel like I'm kind of in a similar situation. So I feel like it's been very helpful, and I feel being able to uh, be under four different coaches has been able to make me find a coaching style that I could fit to and see what works and doesn't work. Um, so it's similarities. Uh, you laugh a little bit, <laughs> watch the transition over at Stony Brook going from D3 to D1. So I think it's going to be a great benefit to me and my program. Oh, great. So now let's take a trip down to where we are right now. Currently, your team is 0-4 but you guys had, had a chance to pick up a couple wins instead of like um, a couple of late goals to kind of forge you guys in that. So um, what type of improvements have you seen from your team thus far since the beginning of the season? Okay, I, I want to go back a little bit because you're <laughs> saying we had the opportunity to pick up a, a couple wins. Um, something that you see probably different from this year and years past is that we're looking to be offensive and they've p packed it in in the past. And so that 2 nothing game against Bryant and the 2 nothing loss against uh, VMI was just me being over aggressive um, because I'd rather lose a game 2 nothing than lose it one nothing. Right. Um, so that was us going to a flat three, which <laughs> is pretty crazy, but trying to get some offense. But the kids are working hard. And one of the big things for us has been trying to get them to buy in and, and be a team. And we've seen that. Uh, if you go back to the beginning games, we didn't have many shots on goals. We're right. now registering seven to 10 shots a goal. Uh, so that's improving for us. Um, I just think the work ethic, the kids are owning it at this point. I'm at practice the other night, and I gave them their new T-shirts. <laughs> and uh, one of the kids didn't do what they were supposed to do this weekend. Right. And so the kids said to me, Coach, if we all can't put our T-shirts on, then we're not going to put them on. So right. they're really buying into the team co concept and being one, and I think that's huge for them. And I think we're going to see some exciting things coming up next week. That's great, Coach. Well, good luck to you the rest of the season. We'll catch up with you later down the road, all right? Thanks. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.